Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison and this dry uprooted tree is going to be the focus of our story today. It fell down during the storm and we lost power for two days. But losing power for two days is not that big a deal when you consider this tree crushed both of my neighbor's cars. And with, that is the basis for the story, but the story is really going to be about a big thank you for the Canadian power crews that came down to help us get our power back on while the North Carolina power crews in South Carolina helping them get their power back on. And with that being said, I see you on the other side. These are the two cars I was talking about that was crushed by the tree. In North Carolina, we love our trees, but sometimes that love our trees temporarily turns into a hate when it does something like this. Update to the story. The Canadian power crew finished all their work on Sunday, and on Wednesday, cable crews from Alabama came in and restored the cable lines. And since I am doing updates, I might as well give you the update on my neighbor's cars. As you, well, as you can see, <laughs> they're still sitting underneath the tree crushed. Now they're just waiting on the insurance company to make their final determination about the cars and who's responsible for the tree. Okay, I still have one more update. Remember I've already told you about Canadian crew coming in on Saturday and Sunday restoring the power lines and the cable company from Alabama came in on Wednesday and restored the cable lines. But something happened also on Wednesday, either by accident or on purpose, I don't know which one, but look at this. The phone lines were cut. Now some people say they say they know who did it, but I'm not going to repeat it because I didn't see it and I'm getting, not getting involved in the lawsuit. All I know, I'm talking to the mayor because he has a business down to the street and they told him yesterday when this happened that he might not have phone or internet service to November the 5th. So you know, if you're operating a business, you're going to be a little upset. Okay, I have one more update for you. As you can see, the tree has been removed from the cars, but the cars are still totaled. This is a tree all cut up and stacked neatly on the side of the road, courtesy of Robbie Pool Tree Service. And this is the tree stump that was up in the air, but he pushed it back down with a backhoe. And he's coming back next week to grind up the stump. Hopefully, the phone service or my internet service will be back by then, and you can get to see some of this. These two white cars are the two cars that were crushed, and the insurance company said they are totaled. And as you can see, it was a good 50 feet away where the tree originally stood. Yes, the phone lines are still out, as you see. Nice surgical cut. Just waiting on for the phone company to get back in there so we can have internet. So you will see this, I guess either November the 5th or hopefully earlier. Of course, as always, I want to thank you for coming along 
with me on my photographic journeys, and I will see you next time whenever the internet is restored. And one final update to the story, the Calvary of the phone company did arrive way ahead of time, and the phones are back up and working. So you will see this story tonight.